The fact that our consciousness has now emerged, uh, so a new emergence of awareness is dominating the whole field of human consciousness with profound implications for everyone. All right, so 200 then denotes a difference between, um, and again, it is not a level of opposites. It's not that 200 above is one reality and below 200 is another reality. <coughs> It's not good versus bad. This is a thermometer, and this is a thermometer. And the presence of God, the presence of love, is what accounts for the calibration. <clears throat> Above this level, you go strong, and below it goes weak. And it looks like you're looking at true and false. It looks like you're looking at good and evil, but that is not the case. The case is that, you see, water, water is still water, whether it's ice, liquid, or steam. The only thing that changes there is temperature. Above this temperature, you got over 212, it changes its quality. Then below 212, it turns back into liquid, it changes its quality, but it's still just water. Then at 32 degrees Fahrenheit, it changes its quality and turns into a solid. So you can't say steam is the opposite of ice or that water is the opposite of steam. You understand what I'm saying? I'm trying to get out of any, trying to use this in any kind of a positionality. As the temperature increases or decreases, then quality changes. The same with light in a room. There is not two different things, light and dark. Huh? There is intense light. As the light gets lower and lower and lower, it gets dimmer and dimmer and dimmer, and then it's harder and harder to see. And we say it's dusk or dark, you know. There's only one variable, and that's light, the presence of light. That's the only variable. There's not two things, light and dark. You can't get a, take, take a box of darkness and put it someplace or say, shine me some darkness in this closet. It doesn't have any existence. The only th reality, then, is Light and light is either present or not present, and it's present to varying degrees. So the analogy is that the love of God is like the light, and up here the love of God is quite intense, and down here it diminishes and uh, becomes progressively darker. When this happens, the human emotion that goes with it goes through the whole panorama from an ecstatic state, a state of a state. There's a state beyond ecstasy, a blissful state of absolute serenity and stillness. As the as the calibrated levels come down, you see the shift of emotions. And below 200, we notice that these emotions are classically negative and painful. And here down at the bottom, they become quite severe and suicide, they even lead to suicide. <clears throat>